Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Pixel Experience 14, which is obviously based on Android 14 for our Galaxy S7, S7 Edge and Note 7 FE. I don't know if it supports the Note 7. The link is in the description for the XDA thread where you can check out if it supports. So, yep, let's start with the review. So guys, this is Pixel Experience and as the name says, it will give you an experience of Pixel phone. But yes, limited to this small software capabilities, all the Pixel goodies, Google goodies and stuff. Not something like you will get a Google camera from Pixel and you will get that same photos and all that stuff. Actually, it does not come with a Google camera. This is the snap cam. I think. Uh, yeah, this is the lineage of snap cam. So it does not even come with a Google camera. So yeah, this is uh, the beginning. So. Yeah, let's first take a look uh, into the settings uh, into about phone and uh, here we go into Android device, uh, Android version and you can see Android version 14 February security patch. I will tell you why February security patch in the later part of the video. So please watch the full video. So guys, when you take a look at the home screen, you can see it's the pixel launcher, the Google search bar, the pixel widget, the uh, weather and uh, date widget date. Yeah, date widget. So moving in here, as you can see the app drawer with all these pixel apps and very nice icons, uh, material icons and yeah, Spotify and you, uh, Instagram, which I have installed and I guess the YouTube too, uh, I don't remember if YouTube was pre-built, but yeah, really less apps it comes with, it does not comes with that load of keep notes and all that other stuff, the Google uh, stuff. So yeah, also one or two apps like the uh, maps gmail and news which is which i have installed so it just comes with the basics app uh, basic apps which the phones need uh going into options uh, into the settings sorry uh going to battery as you can see you can uh, get the battery usage here this is the battery usage column you have fast charging renewable fast charging you have the battery widget uh, an option here additional option and as you can see, it will show you the battery of your Pixel, your uh, earbuds, and your Pixel Buds too. So I don't know if it works with other earbuds, but yeah, you can try. And this is the battery usage graph. Let's go back to storage. And yeah, just some normal, you'll get the files uh, cleaner. Into display, uh, you have this uh, display stuff uh, of screen. I think we get AOD here. Yes, we have always on display. As you can see, the animation in the pixel is a bit nice. So, yeah, I don't uh, recommend using AOD, like our device is really uh, old. So, I don't know if display is like really capable of using AOD right now. Then, we also have double tap to wake up and hide the sensitivity. Let's see, double tap to wake up works or not. It does, and let's see if it sleeps. It does not. Okay, even on the double uh, clicking on the status bar, it does not sleep. So, yeah that does not work now let's move down here wallpaper and style and this is a uh, pixel uh, as you can see the wallpapers your uh, live wallpapers here and animation to switching wallpaper is really nice it just uh, broadens and then gets the wallpaper here and into more wallpapers uh, you have uh, this emoji workshop I think it requires a very high internet internet okay so it will give you an abstract pattern like it's all over the screen you have some def default uh, patterns too and i don't know where it is you can customize it okay you can select an emoji and yeah it will just create a wallpaper of your favorite color and all that stuff so and we also have ai wallpapers so this is also nice let's go to this one volcanic okay tap on the word and choose pink Lavender, indigo, something different. Let's try crimson. Uh, let's choose a word again warm or cool. Okay, crimson, cool. Let's see what wallpaper it gets us. Uh, sorry, the phone is getting out of the frame. Okay, it's taking a bit of time, but yeah, let's see what image that creates so ai wallpapers is also here now in google this is the ai stuff i see in this phone mm, it's taking quite a lot of time i don't know why 
so i hope this is normal like it takes a lot of time but yeah it's ai so let's skip this i don't know why it was taking a lot of time it was really time consuming then we have minerals the default wallpaper which i have set here and you can also choose but here it is showing a different wallpaper and from which i have set it's a very different i don't know what maybe a small bug or something and here we have living universe very old wallpapers come alive wallpapers very old from pixel and these are the google wallpapers the community wallpapers and yeah the, these are updated now like for a longer time they were not updated but yeah so we also have shortcuts and you can set uh, right and left shortcuts on the lock screen then we have show notifications on lock screen more lock screen options yeah privacy okay this is just normal stuff also now playing here but it's nowhere here as you can see here it says now playing but it is not available here don't know why let's search for it into the settings if it is there maybe it is removed or something yeah it is somewhere i guess it is just okay it's it's not here it's not here there is just this search uh, uh, settings but the service is not present the now playing service so don't know why it was there maybe the developer forgot to remove it but yeah it's a cool stuff so it's on pixel experience then we have live translate a lot of people were asking about this we have live translate here we have gestures and yeah just a normal thing buttons you can customize your buttons also the backlight of your device so that's still really nice and yeah just basic stuff this is a basic rom don't expect a lot of like customizations and all that stuff and that's it for pixel experience that is the pixel experience we have other than that we don't have the google camera also i don't see any ai stuff here also uh, we have the smart switch so if you are remembering it's in built samsung smart switch so yeah that's it for the pixel experience rom owner s7 and now an important announcement to make that uh, this pixel experience rom this is the last build because the project has been uh, came as came to an end of development era so yep uh, especially thanks to a developer uh, i i'm just not getting his name on my tongue so i don't know but yeah the developer name is the description special thanks to him for maintaining this rom uh, the project for over like 7 to 8 years and i've been using it since it came on various devices and now this is my like final build which i'm using on my s7 i don't know if there will be any other build but yeah he has announced that he has uh, uh said the status of eod to the project of pixel experience so there will be no pixel experience updates to this so yeah this is like a tribute uh, the pixel experience on s7 is like a tribute to it so yeah if you really you know have loved this rom in the past or maybe you want to try out for the first time there are some users who, which have never tried out but like this is the last uh time you can try it out or else the it will become obsolete because it will become really old the security patches so you might not be able to try it out so yep that's it for the video and if you want to check the installation you can proceed further or it, like you can end this video now so yep let's move towards the installation video so guys you have to power off your device and make sure you have twrp installed the latest one not some older versions because it might not work and you might face issues so yeah now press the volume up the home key and the power key at the same time to boot into twrp recovery now after booting into twrp recovery first go to wipe advanced wipe dalvik system data and cache as you can see these are the four units four partitions not units then go to install and find your pixel experience zip hero ld which is for the uh, s7 and flash it you can also press that to reboot when installation complete but for a safer side i use this uh, what happened okay <laughs> there was some glitch you saw that like guys uh, there was some glitch in the tdrp so do not uh, don't be afraid just go back and just <laughs> i don't know what to say like these movements are captured in the camera so that's really nice so we can also see what glitches are happening in the tdrp while flashing 
like it was just stuck and it was showing me this screen that uh, it shows after wiping the log so yeah let's skip this part so guys the rom has been installed and yes uh, this is uh, the pixel experience developer j henrik so special thanks to j henrik for uh, uh, developing and maintaining this project pixel experience for such a long time and uh, thanks to you like i don't have any words because this rom is such an awesome work on our devices and i have enjoyed it on every device i have used so yep that's it uh, i hope you guys like the video uh, reboot system yeah and so that is it i hope you guys like the video if yes press the like button if not press the dislike button all the feedback all the comments all the questions should be in the uh, comment section and if you need any help regarding download and all that stuff uh, you can just check the description it has everything clearly mentioned so yeah that's it goodbye i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye